OMG, the Outlaw Audio Model 7000X and the Emo Diva Basics A7 are about to throw down and work to the roof. Hello and welcome. My name is Elon Osborne and I like to talk about movies, audio, and music. And today, my friends, as you saw in the intro, I'm throwing the Outlaw Audio Model 7000X and Emotiva Basics A7 into the octagon. These two units dominate the budget amplifier space, given that there isn't much competition otherwise. So what are we dealing with here? Let's go over some specs. The 7000X and the A7 are both as you might have guessed by their name, seven channel home theater amplifiers. The 7000X is a class AB amp that offers a power rating of 130 watts per channel, all channels driven, into an eight ohm load from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz with less than 0.03 total harmonic distortion. And an impressive 200 watts per channel, all channels driven, into a four ohm load, also from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz with less than 0.06% total harmonic distortion. The A7 is also a class AB amp that offers a power rating of 90 watts per channel, all channels driven, into eight ohms from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz with less than 0.1% percent total harmonic distortion and 125 watts per channel all channels driven into four ohms at one kilohertz with less than one percent total harmonic distortion while bringing you more power with less harmonic distortion clearly the winner in the power category is the 7000x on the rear they each have five way binding posts and trigger outputs but you can see the binding posts on the 7000x are higher quality that and the 7000x offers both unbalanced rca inputs and balanced balanced XLR inputs. The 7000X is 5.8 inches high, 17 inches wide, 16.75 inches deep, and comes in at a hefty 61 and a half pounds. The A7 is four inches high, 17 inches wide, 15.5 inches deep, and weighs 30 pounds. Now I'm not saying that weighing twice as much makes the 7000X twice as good, but in my mind, the heavier an amp is, my knee jerk reaction is to think it's better quality. Although that might be true because I've been brainwashed. Are they heavy? Yeah. Then they're expensive, put them back. All joking aside though, you've been warned. The 7000X is heavy enough to where I can't just decide to move it willy nilly with one arm. I have to square up to it, use both arms, and make sure I breathe right, just so I don't pull a muscle. Yeah. The 7000X's signal to noise ratio is rated at around 111 to 112 decibels, while the A7's signal to noise ratio is at 115 decibels when dealing with an eight ohm load. How do they sound? I could spout numbers and show graphs all day, but what does that mean in the real world? So in order to find out if there really is a difference in how loud the noise floor is, or if indeed the unit itself produces an audible hum or hiss, and to make this a fair fight, I set up a traditional 7.2 system because these are both seven channel amps. No Atmos high speakers involved. And then went from the IOTA AVX-17 via RCA cables to each unit powered them up, let them idle with no audio coming through, opened up my DB Meter Pro app on my phone, and made note of the decibel readings coming from each bed layer speaker. First, as a control, I took note of the room tone, which was about 30 decibels. But as you can see, when the A7 was hooked up, there was almost no difference. One decibel difference when holding the phone right up to the tweeter. On the flip side, when the 7000X was hooked up, there was definitely an audible hiss right when the unit was powered on. And about 10 seconds after that, a slight hum or buzz was also audible. Still, when sitting at my listening position, it's barely noticeable. And only when I'm purposely listening for it do I actually hear it. But it is pretty noticeable when I put my boom mic next to the tweeter. Yikes. There have been forum posts about how the 7000X produces quite a bit of noise, but I wanted to obviously witness it for myself. And sure enough, it is present. But here's the thing. My speakers are only about four to seven feet away from my listening position, not very far. So I bet the majority of you have your speakers further away. So any audible hum or hiss is negligible, a non-issue. 
I took the liberty of screen capturing the DB Meter Pro app while I was watching the Morpheus rescue scene from the Matrix. And as you can see here, the overall output volume between the two amps was the same. When the big explosion happens as the helicopter crashes into the building, they both peaked at 83 decibels. And that's making sure the volume on the preamp was the same to make it fair. But there was a bit more clarity with the 7000X when it came to watching movies. Although it was very hard to find a way to be absolutely sure since there's no way for me to quickly A-B test the audio since I have to unplug one amp, plug the other one in, which takes some time. But I'm pretty sure I can trust my sonic memory and say that the A7 still produces some excellent sounding audio with great channel separation. But it seemed to be a bit warmer and more rounded than the 7000X. Dialogue especially. It still sounded clear with the A7, but dialogue with the 7000X seemed to be just slightly more clear. There was this sheen to it that made it a tad more sibilant, but not in a grating or fatiguing way. But this isn't due to the amps alone. No, my friends. These Hyperion audio speakers in my setup are 4 ohm nominal, so the components inside come alive and produce more clarity when more watts are pushed through, unlocking more of its potential. And we know from the beginning of the video that the 7000X produces more watts per channel. For example, in the lobby scene of The Matrix, surprisingly it was the music that stood out first. That bass line that kicks in seemed to just have a little more weight, a little more body to it in the mix with the 7000X, resonating my ears in a very wide stereo image while the bullets whizzed and ricocheted around me from all angles. But these two tower speakers crave lots of wattage, so it makes sense that they performed a little better when more watts were pushed through. But I think it's safe to say that if, for example, I had a theater or living room with in-wall speakers that were all 8 ohm nominal and could only handle up to 120 watts, I bet there wouldn't have been any discernible difference between the two amps. It really comes down to what your speakers can handle and what kind of power they need to perform at their best. Recap. So who wins? Well. On paper, the 7000X is the clear winner, producing more watts per channel and giving you the flexibility of both RCA and XLR inputs. You do pay $300 more for those features, but that's definitely worth it to some of you. Although I was surprised by just how much audible noise it produced just by being on. That might be a deal breaker for some of you. The A7 was whisper quiet in comparison. So it makes you wonder what a rating of 0.03 total harmonic distortion means. Because just comparing the specs alone on paper, the 7000X is much better. And yet, it clearly emits some noise that makes its way out of the speakers just turning it on. I guess what I'm getting at is, don't judge a piece of equipment by its specs alone. But let's be honest, Emotiva has Outlaw Audio beat when it comes to amp selections to choose from. They literally have a basics amp from a one channel mono block to the A7 and everything in between to fit pretty much anyone's budget amp needs. Outlaw just offers a seven or five channel budget amp. And I bet most of you out there are rocking eight ohm nominal speakers that handle up to 100 or 120 watts maybe. So the A7 will be totally fine in that scenario. But for those with larger, more power hungry speakers like in my setup, the 7000X is an excellent budget stepping stone to start with before getting into expensive amp territory that might set you back several thousand dollars. In the end, it's not that one is necessarily better than the other. It's just that one works better in one scenario and the other works better in another scenario. I need a little more power, so I'm gonna go with the 7000X. But the A7 is still a fantastic amp in its own right. And there you have it. Thank you for joining me on this amp comparison. So what say ye? Is the A7 your bread and butter, especially since Emotiva has so many others to choose from in the basics lineup? Or are you starting to lean more towards the 7000X? Or perhaps their Model 5000X? Let's start a conversation, people. As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them, and of course, always be listening.